Today I'm going to show you guys how to apply a liquid metal grease sleeve on your HP Pavilion X360. I'm doing this because lots of people have told me if I can apply a liquid metal, it will drop the temperature. It does drop the temperature up to 25 or 30 degrees depending the where you located or if your room is cold, warm or what kind of stuff you're using on it. So definitely liquid metal. It's the best uh, thermal paste right there. Actually, it's not a thermal paste, it's like a thermal compound. It's really easy to apply, so it's not hard. I'm gonna leave in the leave a link for it in the description where you can buy those. So, in order to open your laptop, you wanna remove the three screws at the bottom side, right over here on the bottom. I already removed these screws. Remove the three on the front. And you want to see a hidden screw right in the middle. Here you have to remove a uh, plastic cover. Once you remove that, uh, loosen up the screw, remove the screw. And there's a hidden screw right under the plastics right here on the rubber legs. Remove those screws. There's one on each leg, just on the top legs, on these two. Remove those. There's nothing right under here. Once you remove those, you want to grab a guitar pick or anything like a guitar pick, sharp, hard, and soft on the edges. I mean thin, not sharp. And you want to stick this right in between the top bottom cover and the top cover, and you want to twist it around. You want to hear a click sound. Once you hear that, just go ahead and do the same thing for the sides if you want to, if it doesn't come off. If you go all the way to the other side, and you want to grab it from the top side almost, and you're going to lift it up. And there we have it. So, there is a heat sink right here, and the fan for the heat sink. And there's a you want to remove this tape right here. If you want to conserve it, just put it right over here. Later on, you can put it back on top. So what we want to do right now, we want to remove the heat sink and before we remove the heat sink, we're going to pull this cable. This is an on-off switch ribbon. You want to lift it up or remove it. Uh, let's remove it from this end. Just lift up just like that and pull out. Same thing from here. Put this to our side. Next. I'm not going to rip this foam here, so I'm going to lift and uh, remove the whole fan with the heat sink. So we're going to disconnect the fan. If you want, you can go ahead and remove the battery first. But there is no need for that if you're really cautious. If you don't want to remove the battery first, you have to remove one, two, three, four, five, six screws that holds the battery in place. And then you can just lift it up. I made a video on how to replace or remove your battery for this laptop. I'll leave the link in the description. So if you want to remove the battery. But as I'm really cautious, so I'm not going to remove the battery. Next, we want to remove the four screws that hold the heat sink to the seat motherboard. All right. We're still not gonna lift it up because they, we still have to remove the screw right here that holds the fan to the motherboard and the other screw right over here. These are different bed screws. So. Alright, once you remove those, you can go ahead and lift up the heat sink. Well, there is a tape right here that touches the... Alright, let's remove this tape right over here.
Be careful right underneath there is another ribbon cable. You want to remove the ribbon cable. And if you did pull the ribbon cable too much, you wanna have to remove the whole motherboard to put it back in. As it this is my case, so I'm gonna actually show you guys how to remove the whole motherboard to be able to put the ribbon cable back in. This is for the extra USB and a headphone jack. Because it has a kind of adhesive right here. It touches right over here, so that's the reason it came out. So now actually I do have to remove the battery. So left out the battery right here. Next we want to remove the hard drive by removing the clip right here. Just lift it up 90 degrees and pull up the ribbon cable. Next, we're gonna remove the keyboard, same thing, remove, lift up the black cover and slide out the ribbon cable. We gotta pull out the speaker cable, just don't yank on the cable, just put the tweezers right in between, right there and you just pull it out and remove the LCD flex cable right there you remove the tape not all the way just halfway through and lift up the lock and pull out the cable next the Wi-Fi same thing remove the cable for the Wi-Fi I'm guessing this is the webcam or the touch this is a touch screen, so same thing, remove that. And the speaker is just right over here. Put the speaker right over there. Next, you want to remove the power jack. Just same thing as you did with the cables for the headphones. I mean, yeah, with the speakers. You do have to remove the screw for the Wi Fi board. All right, next we're gonna remove the motherboard. In order to remove the motherboard, there are a few screws that we have to remove. There's one right over there, one over there, there, one over there, and right over there. Once you remove the screws, you can just go ahead and lift up the motherboard. And uh, remember this cable is gonna come out, it has a tape too, so remove the cable from here, uh, I don't know why they put the tape in there, also remove it from this end, I don't know actually it's a different tape, cable. I thought it was connected, it's not so I'll leave it there, the cable that it got loose from underneath it's this one over here, it's right out, right underneath. So what we're gonna do is gonna be really pain in the ass to remove it. So we're gonna remove this board right here. So we're gonna take this out and we're gonna flip it over. And we're gonna plug in the cable. All right, once you put it there, just slide it back on, put it in the same position. All right, next you're gonna adjust the motherboard right on the bottom plate and put the USB jack in place. So this is the easiest way to do. 
unless you want to really struggle there. All right, now we're going to put back again the screws on the board. All right, next, we're going to slide it down, the speakers. We're going to put the LCD cable right under the jack. Close the jack. Put the speaker cables right there. All right, put the touch ID or touch screen digitizer. All right, next we're gonna put the power jack connector right there. All right, I'm not gonna put the battery right now, I'm just gonna put the Wi Fi board. First, grab the board, put the cable for the board, antenna, and then just stick it down. You wanna put it in a 45 degree angle almost, and then push it down and push it underneath toward the board. All right, so, all right. so we're gonna apply the, uh, oh, I forgot the keyboard. Always put the key in cables first before you do anything else. So I got this one, this one, power jack, cable, LCD, headset, and the only cable, cable I am left is the on-off switch cable, I'm gonna put at the end. So you're gonna get a, your working towel, and you're gonna clean up the, yeah. I forgot to show you guys, let me just retouch whatever I removed. I don't know if you guys saw it. I forgot about the camera. I removed this jack right over here by removing one screw right there. So you just remove it. The LCD screen right there. The cable for the speakers. The Wi Fi board with that one screw. The digitizer on the screen. Power jack and the screw right over there. One over there. One over there. There. And one right over there. And I remove this in cable for the touch mousepad and remove this cable right over here for the hard drive. So yeah, anyway, so let's get back to this one. So what we're going to do, we're going to clean up the old thermal paste. And clean the thermal paste on the heatsink. There we go. Once you have everything cleaned up, you want to grab your liquid metal and you want to grab your Q tip or the Q tip that comes inside. Doesn't matter, it doesn't have to, have to be a black Q tip. And you can put a tiny drop right on the die. Make sure you don't squeeze too hard. Okay, that's a humongous drop. I'm gonna suck it back in. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And the excess of the this one, I'm just gonna suck it back in. So I'm just gonna start rubbing it in. And do the same thing for the top part. You just want to do the mid center and the top part portion right there. You can grab the liquid metal from there, you don't have to squeeze back in. So I'm going to leave it right there, little bumps right in here. And just clean up around the CPU. You can remove it really easy with an alcohol. Once you have this one right there, and uh, you're ready to put it back together. So you're gonna grab it, and you're gonna flip it over. Put the this end down first. 
make sure you align the gaps. And hold it down and put the screws right on top. All right, now once we have that one over there, we want to put the screws for the motherboard. There are two of them, I mean for the fan. And next, put the fan cable right there. And you should be all set. Now you can grab this tape right here. Or if you have your tape right on top and you're going to put the tape back on. Now we're going to grab the battery. Adjust the battery right there. Push it down on the jack. And put the screws right on top. And remember... Once you remove the battery and you put it back in, when you turn on the laptop, it's going to do a few restarts before it shows you the screen. So don't do anything crazy. Just be patient. All right, so we're going to remove the, put the cable right there. All right. Once you have that in there, you have the cables right there. You want to grab the bottom cover. Put the bottom cover right on top. Push the sides. You're going to hear the click sound. And put the front end the screws. Alright guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, click that thumbs up button. And if you have any question, request, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.